Hi, I'm Mike, Pokétips Mike, and welcome back to episode number 19 of my Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time we made it to the last city in all of Pokémon Sword and Shield, Winden. And when we got there, after jumping over to the wild area for a little bit and catching some Pokémon, we didn't mess around at all. We entered the Champion Cup and took out our rivals who both brought their best. Hop even captured Goku and used Goku against us. And that brings us to today, where we're in this hotel waiting for Leon to meet up with us for dinner. But Leon didn't show up, so me and the boys, we're gonna go find him. Oh, actually, before we go find him, I want to change up my team a little bit since I've been using this team for a little while now. So I'm going to put away Lily for just a moment, and I think I'll swap Lily for Luna. Let's use Sprout over Bellatrix, and I guess as a wild card, we'll use Lupin over Goyle. That's definitely a weird team for me, but we gotta mix it up because, you know, we're getting to the final episodes. I want to give everybody a shot. So let's go talk to Piers. Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from that battle with you, Pokétips. We decided that Team Yell will cheer you on, Pokétips. Let's help out together. Aw, uh, more Pika, that's the only thing I need to cheer me on. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it is entirely unnecessary. Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There is no way I will let anyone interfere. After all, only authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I have hand-selected a member of the League staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kinds of menial games, after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal League staff and the one that I chose? Well, I mean, this guy is wearing sunglasses, so I think we'll be able to find him just fine. Hey, Pokétips, this bloke's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising so I'll have no choice but to look this way. Hmm... Miss Olina's here. What? Blast! I turned around, and I can't escape. In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. Dude, I don't know. There's a window right next to you. There's also a fence. You can either smash the window or jump over the fence. I would not get caught in such a silly situation. Ooh, he's leading off with a Noctowl. Now, that's a Pokemon we don't really see too much of. And also a little bit of a risk to use Luna against. But you know what? We're starting off with Luna. We might as well give it the shot. Let's see if we can hit that 70 accuracy blizzard. It's going for Gunk Shot? Alright, that shouldn't be too bad. I was worried about a flying type move like Drill Peck or something. Oh good, we can hit the blizzard. Thank you so much, Luna. Welcome back to the team. Too bad you weren't able to one-shot it though. Oh, Marty's cheering on for me. Where did she come from? Thanks, I think. And we get a stat boost. Our speed rose sharply. Wonderful. Okay, that's going to be really useful. So we can just Aurora Beam and knock this thing out since it was faster than us last time. I bet this guy is really regretting not jumping over the fence now. Jellicence. Oh, that's kind of cool. I just noticed Lupin is actually holding the Moonstone. I don't really have much of a use for that right now, but maybe it'll be useful at some point later on in the game. Because, oh, wait, 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 wait. Huh? Why did that do so little damage? Oh, it does weight-based damage, and since Sprout is kind of a heavy girl, she doesn't really take that much damage from it. That's cool. <laughs> We're quad weak to fire, so that's a little scary right now. I wonder, actually, if this Hex is going to do more damage than that fire move did, and it's looking like it is. Oh, come on. I don't know how we hit Blizzard, but we miss Power Whip. I would definitely think it would be the other way around. All right, Sprout, please, please. Ooh, that looks like a critical hit. Yeah, critical hit right there. Please, Sprout, hit the power whip and just one-shot this thing. You're scaring me a little bit. Thank you. Wow, that was way too scary. I thought we had this in the bag swapping Sprout in there. This thing is a fire move, which did literally nothing to me, and then Hex, which got the crit. Don't suddenly talk to me like that. I accidentally turned around. Get off my lawn, you little kid. All I need to do is hide, and I won't have to give you the key. Well, hopefully you can find a better hiding spot than that, buddy. It's a wonder how fast that guy can run. I've got no idea where he went, Gov. I feel like I know a lot of British slang, but I really don't know Gov. That one's not familiar to me. And let's just go for, like, Governor. I've heard people say Governor before. Whatever, let's talk to this suspicious man again. How'd you find me? Because you don't even look like you were blending into that conversation at all. It's kind of like one of those awkward conversations where you and a friend are trying to talk to somebody and then somebody else just comes up and they start nodding and interjecting themselves. So like, hey buddy, I would love to talk to you, but right now I'm talking to somebody else. 
All right, well, let's try this again. Are you serious? The Toad has a fire move too. Are you feeling it? No, I am not feeling it. And they don't give me the option. I guess I just have to say I am feeling it. Don't want to lie, but they're making me do it. Ooh, defense and special defense rose sharply. Maybe now we can take a fire move and not have to worry? Let's see. Oh, wow. It's missing the Inferno all day. Please, be my guest. <laughs> wow. Ah, that is so weird. So, today, all the water Pokemon have fire-type moves, but they do nothing at all to Sprout, who's very weak to fire-type moves. I'll take it. Doesn't make sense, but I'll definitely take it. All right, Shift Tree. Let's... Everything is fire type moves! Flame Wheel from the Shift Tree! Again, I'm glad these are weak fire type moves coming from not the greatest Pokemon. I do love Shift Tree though. I love Shift Tree. But still, I'm glad that it's not doing that much damage to us, and I'm glad that Marnie gave us that defense boost. Let's actually see here. Does Gyro Ball do more damage? Also, how do you guys say it? Do you say Gyro Ball? Or do you say, like, Gyro Ball or Giro Ball? That's one of those words that always confuses me. I'm not exactly sure how to say that one. But doesn't matter, we got rid of the tree. They say hide a tree in a forest, so I thought I could hide myself in the crowd. The crowd wasn't really that big, buddy. There's only two people talking over there. What are they talking about anyway? If a trainer I'm cheering for loses, it really brings me down as if I was the one that lost. Even if the match itself has nothing to do with me, that's what it means to be a supporter. Aw, he really sounds like such a nice guy. Ooh, now I have to say, this is probably his best disguise yet. Or maybe not, even she noticed it too. Still, it works a lot for Superman, so I guess I could see why he'd go for it. You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. Alright, let's do this again, Macrocosmos's Eric Toxicroak. Watch, this thing is also going to have a fire-type move. The last time we fought against one of these things, it had, what, Pyro Ball? Which looked really weird from Toxicroak and also took out one of my Pokémon. I did not like that. Let's just hope it can't do that again. Oh no, Luna, why are you missing now? Well, thank you for the, ooh, attack and special attack boost. Thank you, Marty. Now, Luna, we're gonna try this blizzard again. Please hit it this time. Ooh, drain punch coming from a bulk up, and we are down to 10 HP. I am not liking that. Please tell me we can take this thing out with blizzard right now. Looks like we can. <laughs> very, very, very close. Good job, Luna. Ooh, that is scary. That was scary. And Arctozolt. I think, you know what, since this thing is basically like Norbert's cousin, it's time for our family reunion. Arctozolt, meet Norbert. Inferno. Everything has fire moves this episode. Oh, no. That's not how you greet your cousin. You don't burn them. No, 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 no. We don't like that at all. We're going to full restore that right away. I know some people or some Pokemon, they're bad with first impressions. Oh, now they're crying. Now, Norbert, it's your turn to say hello. Let's go for this Fire Fang. Hitting today, that's good. That's definitely a good way to start things off. This is a very sad family reunion. We're gonna have to say goodbye. All right, bye-bye, Arcozolt. And Luna is actually getting level 46. I kind of want to use Luna, but I think now is definitely not the time. Seems like you've got me cornered, but I'm not going to give up. An earful from Miss Olina is way worse than anything you lot can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Yeah, I don't think we have you cornered if you're able to just run away like that. But let's go meet up with him at the monorail, I guess. Come on, Piers. Oh no, now there's four of them. Oh, Hop, don't get upset. It's okay, buddy. We'll figure this one out. Or Piers. I think Piers has got this. You did a cracking good job of quartering that bad League staff member, Poketips. Let me sing you a song fitting of your rockin' deeds. Oh no, it's time for me to sing. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Maybe I can't cheer someone on with just the tunes that I play. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy. Maybe I can help. But still, the only thing I could do is sing, sing my humble song. See, this is why I'm not a singer, and Piers is. If I actually tried singing, singing right there, ooh, I think a lot of you would have just closed this right off right there. Eh, at least the Zigzagoon liked my singing, though. We got the key, Piers. We can take the monorail of Rose Tower now. Look at Piers. Look at him go. He's right in his element right now. What a guy. Distracting everyone for us so we could go to this massive tower. 
So this is Rose Tower. Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. So what should we do? Team Yell is gonna have their hands full holding up those bad League staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Let's go ahead, we don't need anybody else. Alright Hop, it looks like it's me and you. Let's go inside Rose Tower. I love the way they decorate Rose Tower. Well, actually, first things first, I think it's a little too dark in here, but I do like the roses underneath the floor right there. I, that's a really nice touch. No more looking at flowers. You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. See, if Miss Olina says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus! Ah, I love this part of the game. The music here is so, so good. Oh, oh, we didn't heal up Luna at all. Alright, well Cho, you're coming in, haven't used you at all today, but I do find it slightly weird how this is like the theme while we're in the elevator, it's the theme while we're in the battles, and it's even the theme when we beat the trainers too. It would be kind of nice if there was like some variation, but this track is a banger, so I can't really complain too much. Although, I am going to complain a little bit about that special defense drop right there. So let's hope Cho can just- ooh, Max Guard? Well, that's the first time we've seen that move there. And it looks like it actually works to its full ability when a Pokemon gets it. Usually when Pokemon get max moves, they're so weird, they bug out and everything, and they only do like one or two damage, but Max Guard? That's like a super version of Protect that Bronzong gets. Good for you. All right, nice job, Cho, being able to take out that thing in one hit. And Delibird. Wow, that's another one we haven't seen, I don't think at all, during this randomizer. Yup, I don't see any information popping up about it. Good thing I know it's typing. It's been around since Generation 2, so I'd be kind of disappointed in myself if I didn't know it's typing by now. And also, Delibird is just an iconic Pokemon. I really hope someday Delibird actually gets an evolution. I think Delibird is something that needs an evolution. Itself, by itself, it's not too strong. But I don't know, maybe if you give it an evolution, like Delibird and it gets like a little sleigh, or Delibird and a reindeer, I feel like that would actually be kind of cool. Actually, now that I'm thinking about that, that would probably work better as a G-Max form, because I can't see Delibird evolving and also getting like reindeers as well. <laughs> anyway, let's go take this elevator all the way to the top, and I forgot to heal. I probably should have healed in between right there. Yes, I was able to walk, but I was too focused on this potential G-Max Delibird to bother. Well, this is actually gonna be really annoying because now these two are gonna run out at us, and I know this is gonna be a double battle. You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in the Galar League's gym challenge. Yet I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold, the gloriously high-tech elevators of Rose Tower able to withstand Pokemon battles. Yeah, really? Let's go ahead and test that out. Now, I am scared going into this, although I'm a little bit more concerned what's going on with her hand over there. That doesn't look okay. Yeah, I think she might need some help there. She has a really thick wrist, and her hand is just wagging and schlagging. Yes, I'm making up words there. Schlagging. Okay. Oh, here we go. Ooh, Graplocked coming out from Hop. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. Now, against Reuniclus and Shinshino. Man, I really should have healed. I think I'm just gonna bring out Sprout right here, because I feel like Sprout can take hits from both of these Pokemon, unless they also want to have fire moves, since everything this episode has fire moves it wants to throw at us. Ooh, Belly Drum! That's not gonna look too good. Please, Hop, please tell me you're gonna take out that Chinchino this turn. Tea time? Is it time to drink the tea? I didn't know for that. Everyone dug into their berries, and this Reuniclus actually has a berry. Didn't do anything, though. Okay, that's cool. Ooh, Boom Burst hits both of us, and it knocks out the Chinchino right there! Oh, buddy, what are you doing? Taking out your teammate like that? I don't understand that one. They set up a belly drum and everything. What are you holding? Ooh, Sticky Barb. That's not too good. I guess I'll attack the Pulte Geist. I'm a little bit more scared of that thing. And I also don't like how it's immune to that Boom Burst right there. Ooh, rest in peace, Graplocked. Hop just lost a Pokemon in his Nuzlocke challenge. Let's see, okay. Looks like we're gonna need another Gyro Ball to take out that thing. Oh, Raichu! Alright, Hop, let's see what we can do with that Raichu. Night Slash, that's awesome. Ooh, wow! Thanks for the assist, dude! See, I told you, me and Hop, we got this. Hop is the buddy. 
And speaking of the buddy, Norbert finally, after all these levels, wants to learn an electric type move, Discharge. But I'm actually not gonna teach it Discharge, even though I know Discharge is a really good move. Thunderfang is gonna do more damage overall, because our attack stat is way higher, and Hustle is also the ability it raises our attack a little bit too. Alright, Sprout, let's see how much this Gyro Ball does to Reuniclus. Not that much, but we are in a good 2v1 situation right now, so I think we should have this battle in the bag. I'm not really sure why Raichu did that, though, instead of the Night Slash. You have a super effective move against this Reuniclus, but you don't use it. Don't really understand that one. Okay. And just to be safe here, I'm gonna use the Full Restore. I know we can take out this Reuniclus just fine, probably without even healing if Hop wants to attack. Ooh, yes, this Night Slash is looking really good right now. That might finish it up. No, it's just living. But that was mainly for its second Pokemon, and wow, they're taking out another one of Hop's Pokemon. We're really gonna see his whole team right here. Blastoise is number three. Wish I had a Blastoise. Sky Attack. Alright, well that's an interesting play. I'm gonna knock out the Reuniclus no matter what this turn with the Iron Head, so maybe... Maybe that was a good move from him, because he was expecting me to knock this thing out, and the next turn, he'll go for a really strong flying-type attack. But it all depends on what they decide to send out right here, right now. Kamoo! Ooh, yes! That'll actually work really well against the Kamoo! But I'm actually gonna swap out here with Sprout. I'm a little scared that Kamoo going for something strong like a close combat and knocking me out. So, yeah. Yeah, Meteor Assault, that's a pretty strong move. Oh, but he's going for Blastoise. Okay, that's cool. Now let's see, how much- WHAT?! Oh, that's so unlucky. You charged up, and you just missed. Oh, dude, I feel so bad for you, Hop. Well, I'm gonna go for the Icy Wind here, just to slow this thing down a little bit. I know either way, no matter what we do, Air Slash or Icy Wind, this thing is not fainting in one hit. So my strategy here is slow it down and go for Air Slash next turn. Hopefully I'll be faster than it, and hopefully we'll get it to flinch with Air Slash. Alright, so let's see if that dream comes true right there. But Blastoise is gonna go first, gonna hit the Sky Attack, and gonna take out the Kamoo. Great job, Hop. You may have lost two of your Pokemon there, but I think it was worth it. Yeah, but do you see what I mean? This music is good, but it's weird not hearing a trainer victory theme right there. It feels like something's just plain missing. You're nearly at the top, but you'll not be meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies doing my job for the lofty macrocosmos air. Here we go, once again, a woman with a broken hand and a really big wrist. Rhyperior and Cinderace. They are bringing out all the Pokemon that I've had before, and you know what, we are 100% getting Luna out of here, but the question is, who do I bring in against this matchup? Rhyperior and Cinderace, they're both really, really big hitters. Grindylo would be nice. Norbert doesn't want to take a ground-type move. I don't know, I don't know, I think, ugh. Let's try Lupin out here. Again, if we lose somebody, this it pains me to say it, but I wouldn't be too mad if it was Lupin. And it's looking like no matter what I do, ooh, Lava Plume, yeah, that's not too fun for us. Looking like no matter what I do, we're gonna have a bad switch in. Woohoo! Why? You're burning your teammate right there! And that was a critical hit, Lupin actually took that really, really well. Nice! Nice! Almost taking that thing out, and it's too low to use Substitute, and I feel like the burn is gonna knock it out here- Oh, just barely. Just barely living. Wow, that actually worked out so well for me. Alright, Lupin, try going for Stone Edge right here, and you're gonna take out your own teammate! <laughs> Let's just not get burned. Wow! These Macrocosmos people have no team synergy whatsoever. Luna, maybe you won't die here today. Let's go for that Stone Edge. Let's see, can we get the crit and knock out the Cinderace? No, but that is doing a lot of damage. Wow, Luna, look at you go. Although the Umbreon, that's a little scary for us. We don't want to take a Dark type move from the Umbreon, and it's more than likely going to go for Lava Plume, so I'm going to bring out Grindylo right here. Grindylo can probably survive the Lava Plume and whatever the Umbreon wants to throw at me. Electrify. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Not what I was expecting at all, but I'll take it. Ooh, I'm not liking this thing raising its defenses, though. Umbreon's a pretty bulky Pokemon already, 
and that just makes it a little bit more annoying to take out. Now I kind of just want to do a weird play and go for Icy Wind and hit both of them. Usually that would do enough damage to knock out both, but I really don't trust an Icy Wind coming from Grindylo to knock out their Cinderace. But once again, <laughs> that Lava Plume keeps burning your teammates. So now I don't think we have to worry at all about this Umbreon. It can't live forever, even if it raises up its defenses a whole bunch, so we're good. We're really, really good, and yeah, that's what it wants to do. It just wants to keep stockpiling, and stockpiling, and stockpiling some more. Definitely puts a time limit on it. And there's another one of my old Pokémon, bringing out the Trevenant. Oh, Willow. Willow, Willow, Willow. Yeah, the, why would you do that, Raichu? Why would you electrify its moves right there? Now if Umbreon decides now is the time to attack, okay, good, good. But if Umbreon decided it was going to attack me this turn, I don't know, what's the, uh, what's the move that works with Stockpile? Spit up or something? Nice, we got a flinch too. But if it went for that on me, we would have lost Grindylo and it would have been all Raichu's fault. Please don't do that again. Okay, Night Slash. That's gonna knock out the Trevenant, good. Yeah, Hop, we're better than those Macrocosmos people. We don't hurt each other. We just get through this battle together. Teamwork. This thing is raising up its defenses for something, but I don't think we're gonna find out exactly what that something is. Hop, if you went for Thunder Punch, we would've knocked this thing out this turn. Ah, there we go, Bites. And even all the way to the end, that Raichu still wants to electrify the Umbreon. Well, I don't think it matters anymore. Grindylo, finish this battle! Huh? Well, it is at plus five, now plus six special defense, so I guess it can live that. We probably did like three damage to us. But like I said before, in the end, it's the Macrocosmos people taking themselves out. Alright, this is it. Thank you once again for the heal hop, and let's make it to the top of Rose Tower. Well, that doesn't look like a Chairman Rose to me. Oh. I try running away, and Olina talks to me. That's actually pretty impressive, considering she was facing the opposite direction. Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space, here, nearly a thousand feet above the Earth. So, you got through all the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I'm afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because... Whoa! <laughs> I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose. You shall be the first, Poketips. If I beat you to pieces, then the champion will have no one to battle and thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. She went 0 to 100 real quick and sending out Sigilith. All right, well, we need to beat this crazy woman, because I think if it was up to her, she'd probably throw me off the top of this tower. And good, finally, we're close and level again. So, Luna, you've been pretty good with those blizzards. Don't let me down now. Let's hit this blizzard, but it's going for Brave Bird. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill... Luna... Oh, what a way to go. Just clean one-shotted like that, too. Ugh, just brought you back in this episode. Sad to see you go. Norbert, you have to finish this thing up for me. Gravity. Well, I'd rather take that than another Brave Bird. Also, that's interesting. It didn't take any damage from the Brave Bird. I guess Sigilyph has an ability where it doesn't take damage from moves like that. My, how cheeky to do such a thing to hurt a partner. Oh, Slurpuff coming out there. Well, we do not want to fight Slurpuff with Norberts. That would definitely be another Pokemon that could one-shot us. And I hope this thing does not have Belly Drum. I used to love using Belly Drum Slurpuff with his ability that like doubled its speed right there, but no, it's going for Calm Mind. It knew I was going to swap out right there. Well, you know what? In return, I'm going to hit you with a nice strong Iron Head. Ooh. Two Calm Minds from this thing are a little scary. A little scary. No, it's gonna take two hits, unfortunately. Well, please go for Calm Mind again, don't attack me, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd much rather you do that than me actually find out what attacking moves you know. Sprout, finish this thing! Good job, Sprout, good job. So far, so good. Sprout's getting to level 54, Norbert's getting to level 57, I like that. And Ninetales, which one are we seeing? The beautiful Alolan Ninetales! <laughs> hey, that works out just fine for me. Sprout loves Alolan Ninetales. Let's hit it with the Gyro Ball, but ooh, Fusion Flare. 
I know normal Ninetales is a fire type, but I was not expecting to see that. And Sprout, you are living. Let me just hope that you could survive the hail too. I think we can. We're taking out the Ninetales. Please, fingers crossed here. Hail, don't knock me out. Hail, please don't knock me out. This is it. This is it. Living with 5 HP. Good. Ah, uh, I think we're about to see another one. Here comes Goku once again. I really wonder if they like Dynamax or Gigantamax this thing. Is it going to look like Super Saiyan Goku? <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Well, Norbert, I think you're going to be able to take this thing out just fine. Okay, Seismic Toss is something we like to see. I like seeing consistent damage. Also, I love Seismic Toss's animation in the newer Pokemon games. That Earth animation, it looks like something straight out of the Pokemon anime. Always super, super cool. Yay, we get to see it again. Okay, well, we don't want to see a third one of those. Oh, Norbert, now is not the time to be missing. Now is really not the time to be missing. Well, we are going to use a full restore here for sure, because if we don't do that, we're going to lose Norbert this turn to the Seismic Toss and Halo combo. Well, Norbert, please hit the Fire Fang. Okay, oh, buddy. Buddy, you gotta hit these moves sometime. Well, now we know we're going to survive another Seismic Toss, so let's try it again. In the red. Come on, Norbert. Thank you for finally hitting. Can we get a one-shot? Good. Good. At least after all that, we just take this thing out in one hit. If it survived, I would have been a very unhappy camper. Ooh, you want to learn Explosion? Absolutely not. That's just straight up sacrificing one of your Pokémon. Why would I ever do that? Stunfisk. Which one are we seeing? Ah, the classic Stunfisk. Well, Lupin, let's try you out here. If it has a ground type move, we have Levitate to counter it, which would be pretty cool, but Bug Bite, I was not expecting that, and Lupin's not gonna like that too much either. We can take another one though, so while we're out here, let's go for another Psychic. It's more than likely gonna do that Bug Bite move again. I'm sure it won't have any better moves than that. What berry are you eating though? Don't raise the attack. Okay, raise the special defense, that's fine. Lupin is at 25 HP, so since we know it's more likely to do that again, let's bring out Cho. Alright, Gocho, you're in charge here. Apple Acid? <laughs> Not very familiar with that move. I know it's gotta be one of the new Apple Pokemon signatures. Lowers my special defense. I don't think we care about that right now. Let's go for a Pyro Ball and knock this thing out. Cho, can you finish this thing in one hit for me? Oh, it's gonna live. That's okay. Bone Rush is not okay. It missing is great, though. And let's see. Flame Charge here should definitely do enough to take it out. Come on, Cho, finish this Stun Fisk. Great job, Cho. This is my last Pokemon? Seriously? Olina's gotta finish this. Oh, cool. Her last Pokemon is a Butterfree. So what are we seeing here? Is this gonna be the G-Max Butterfree? Well, Cho, you know what to do. Let's go ahead and Dynamax. I think I'll treat you something truly spectacular. A Gigantamax at Rose Tower. Oh, here it comes. The Gigantamax Butterfree. Love this thing. But unfortunately, Olina, for you, we're gonna have to say goodbye to that thing. Cho, hit him with the Max Flare! And that's the way we do things around here. Ah, this is unexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There is nothing to be done now. Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. Ah, here they are, finally! Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already, and you still fail to understand what's at stake? You, who is supposed to be our champion? I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's thousands of years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as a champion isn't this. This madness is to carry out that championship match. That's what Galar wants and what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand the thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galar region stretched before us. And know that energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy, so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years? 
Fine, look, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I give you my word I'll help you with your plans, just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Lee! You never showed when you were supposed to, so I got worried something had happened. Piers and Marnie, and all those Team Yell oddballs, they all helped us to get here. I must apologize to you, Hop, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, Pokétips. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll all grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose. And I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one for the history books. One for the history books. You still understand, young champion. We know I am gonna change the course of history. Well, after all that, at least we finally got our dinner, and I don't even know what we got! This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had Butterfree in my stomach since I've woke up. Challenge your Poketips. The finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Cinderace, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please! I'm not like those other League staff. I'm a good one, if I must say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Olina could be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of League staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we trust her then. Yeah, Pokey Tips? Let's go. I can't wait another minute. So my friends, this is it, the finale of the Champion Cup, but before that, we have to say goodbye to our friend here, Luna. Luna, you fought hard and you fought well, thank you so much for everything. So my friends, we finally had our dinner with Leon. The Champion Cup is on the horizon with some amazing battles as well, but I think we all know that Chairman Rose is up to something. And we're about to find out exactly what. I'll see you guys next time in episode 20.